Understanding how customers make decisions is important for marketers because it helps them figure out what motivates people to buy goods and services. When making a marketing plan, marketers should think about how the people they want to reach will choose products and services. Understanding how buyers decide what to buy is often a key part of the most successful marketing plans. How do customers choose to purchase from you? If you don't know, you might be setting yourself up to fail. Your success will depend on how well you understand how clients buy things. If you know how people make decisions, you'll have a better chance of making a sale right away. This video will teach us how consumers make decisions and what steps you need to take to make one. What is the consumer decision-making process? The process of a customer making a choice includes figuring out what they need, gathering information, weighing their options, deciding what to buy, economic and psychological factors, as well as environmental factors like social and national values can affect how people act. Consumer decision-making is a complicated process that includes everything from noticing a problem to doing things after buying something. Every consumer has different wants in their everyday lives, which makes them make different choices. Depending on how a consumer feels about a certain product, making choices can be hard because it involves comparing, evaluating, choosing, and buying from a wide range of products. Marketers need to know and understand how people make decisions so that their goods and services can stand out from others on the market. There are five important steps in the decision-making process of a customer. We will look at the five steps a customer goes through when making a choice. Even though there have been many changes, the five steps are still the same. Let's look at this. Stage 1. Need Recognition a consumer's first step in making a purchase choice is to figure out what they need. The main reason why someone buys a product or service is because they need it. People decide what to buy based on what they need. The first step in analyzing the consumer decision-making process is to find out what the customer wants. Finding out what the target market needs and wants can help with a lot of marketing choices. Example, looking for a new camera. Think about it. Why do people start looking for a new camera? Most likely, their old camera no longer works well or they just want a nicer one. Maybe they are going on a trip soon. Or they might want to give the camera to their sister, who just had her first child, as a gift. How does this have anything to do with the body's needs? Not hard. Without a camera, they won't be able to remember special times. This makes them want to save these memories so they can be happy and not sad. In this case, the internal stimuli are these feelings of wanting. Even though they don't need a camera to live, it does fill a very important mental need. What happens after a need has been found? They start looking for a way out. So, let's move on to the next step of the customer journey, trying to find information. Stage 2. Searching and Gathering Information When people have to choose between two or more things, they tend to be skeptical. So, they need to know everything before spending their money. After figuring out what they need, the potential customer goes on to the second step, which is looking for and gathering information. At this point in the decision-making process, the buyer thinks about all the pros and cons of the purchase. People know a lot more about what they want to buy now that styles are changing and there are online shopping sites. Consumers can find information in many places, such as books, magazines, the internet, and other people's reviews of goods. It's important to make a purchase decision, so a customer shouldn't be in a hurry when learning about the goods and brands on the market. Here are a few places you can look for information. Sources of commercial information, digital media, emails, TV ads, salespeople, and public displays are some of the most important ones. Previous purchase experiences. This is how people have used a product in the past. Personal contacts. This is a reliable source of information that has the most effect on the consumer. Consumers usually talk to their friends, family, coworkers, and other people they know about what they need and what they are interested in. They then use this information to decide what to buy. Example. Research in cameras. Now that the customer knows he needs a new camera, he needs to figure out how to get one. At this time, it's important that the person looking for an answer can see you. Here are some things that a buyer might want. The best cameras of 2023. 
What is the best affordable camera? What are the best cameras? How much a customer needs to look for depends on how much he already knows about the options and how complicated the choices are. For example, say someone wants a camera as a gift, but doesn't know what kind of camera he wants or what features he needs. He will need more information than someone who already knows what kind of camera he wants to buy and just needs to find the right one and the right way to buy it. How much searching you need to do depends on the case and can be very different. Stage 3. Considering the alternatives. The third step in the decision-making process for a customer is to carefully look at all the available alternatives and substitutes. Once people know what they need and where to get it, they will start looking for the best deals or choices. At this point, the consumer compares the choices based on price, quality, quantity, features that add value, or other important factors. Look at what other people have said about the products and compare their prices before you decide which one is best for you. After finding useful information, the consumer picks the best product on the market based on their taste, style, budget, or preference. Example, comparison shopping for a camera. During the consideration stage, your goal as a camera seller or brand is to convince buyers that your camera is the best one. And the best way to do that is to get people to stay on your site longer and earn their trust. Consumers will first look at the things about your camera that are not subjective. Does it come with everything I want? How easy is it to use? Do I have enough money? Then you'll have to think about what other people think. Does it have all the features it should? Has anyone else who bought it said it was hard to figure out how to use? Is it thought to be worth the money by most people? You only get one chance, so you should do your best. Of course, it's important that your site is informative, that your prices are fair, that your value is clear, etc. But if you're exactly the same as a competitor in every way, what will set you apart is what people say about you. Stage 4. Buying the product or service. The customer picks what to buy and where to buy it after going through the above steps. After looking at all the facts, the buyer makes a smart decision to buy a product based on his needs and wants. Needs and wants are often sparked by marketing efforts, recommendations from friends and family, or sometimes both. Example, abandoning checkout for a camera. Let's say a possible customer has reached the checkout page, but is having second thoughts. What if the person who gets the camera wants a different one? What if this camera doesn't have a key function that the person who gets it would want? How hard will it be for the person who gets the camera to send it back if it doesn't work for them? This shopper is probably going to give up on his cart and go back to the study phase. He might come back to your site, but he might not. At this point, your goal is to get him to finish the purchase right away so you don't lose him for good. Stage 5. Post-Purchase Evaluation in the last step of the consumer decision-making process, the buyer evaluates or analyzes the product they bought. They look at how useful the product is, how happy they are with it, and how much it costs to meet their goals. If people know that the thing they bought was worth what they paid for and lived up to their hopes, they will keep buying it. Example, getting feedback and encouraging repeat purchases. In the case of the camera, the customer has already bought something from your brand and is now thinking about it. Most of the time, this is when they will write a review about what they thought. This is also when they are most interested in your business, and they may be open to strategies that keep them interested for a long time. At this point, you want to make sure that customers will buy from you again, and you want to encourage them to leave UGC to help other buyers in the future. If you want to get more possible customers and turn them into buyers, you need to know how this process works from start to finish. By breaking the decision-making process down into the above steps, you'll know how to make the most of your marketing efforts. If you want a possible customer to become a loyal brand advocate, you must build trust and keep them interested throughout the process. You can find out more about how your customers make decisions by giving them a poll that asks them about each step. With the poll results, you can improve the features and services of your products. It will help them decide whether or not to buy from you.